Hey guys, this is Dave from the Sega Saturn Shiro podcast, back again with chapter two of Nanatsu Kaze no Shima Monotagari. Uh, we are going to continue where we left off. And what we did in chapter one was we, we kind of, we cracked out of the egg, we fell down to the island, we did some exploration, uh, we found this this blue rabbit guy who has like sharp ears and he can cut bushes and stuff like that, which helps uh, clear some of the roughage and uh, allows us to explore more of the island. So we were able to do that. We were able to get a bug catcher from the trader and start collecting bugs. We showed you the bureau. And um, we also investigated the book here. We were able to complete chapter one, uh, which basically documented our, uh, our story. So we are going to go ahead and continue. Um, and w when we exited the door here, we're greeted by two strange creatures here. We got a, a bunny looking thing, I don't know, with long ears and a dragon or dinosaur looking guy. Chapter two, Kansoe Arauru. Okay, Kansoe Arauru. So, I'm guessing one of these guys is Kansoe, probably this guy. He does not like us and he wants to challenge us. He wants to challenge us to a push fight. Okay, so you got to hammer on the push, hammer on the forward button and just force him out. Okay, you won the duel. That's bizarre. So maybe he's uh, either intimidated by you or threatened. He's territorial or something like that. So, dang, don't got to scream at me. This other guy seems friendly enough, though. He's like, hi, how are you? Yeah, so he greets us. And the purple dinosaur guy does not like that. And we can run now, that's cool. So if you press A here, we can run, which is gonna be helpful for sure. Well, let's go down and explore more of the island here. Now that we've got this guy with us, we can open up this area that we couldn't get to before with the snail. So let's see here. Go ahead and... Yeah, we're impeded by these agave. Oh, he takes care of them just like that. So kind of like Metroid where you, you're gathering items in order to get to new places in this game, um, the theme is that you're gathering these horns that help you call on helpers uh, that allow you to do new things. Like the green horn woke up the trader who gave us the bug catcher. We caught the bugs and then we were able to get the blue horn, which, uh, which uh, summons this, this blue guy. And I think we're going to continue that pattern. We're asking him where where they went, where the, the purple guy went. And he says we should go this way. Oh, I forgot. I need to, I need to be catching those bugs if I want to uh, collect them from my bureau. Oh, there he is. Jumpu, jumpu. He wants to challenge us to a jumping match now. Okay. Go. You got to jump. I 
I don't know what the measure for success is here. I guess the... I guess he's angry at the pink guy because that was his idea uh, to, to challenge me to a jumping match and he lost. Oh no, we're gonna go again. He's pretty fast. Oh, he's crying. So he's not happy that he lost that, that duel. And this guy continues to be friendly. And the other guy doesn't like it. He's calling him back. I need that guy though. You, you look, he can fly. I mean, he has like helicopter, helicopter ears, so I'm sure that he could help me get around. See, I could fly, but not much. What's down here? though okay there was another area that we need to check out down by the trader if if i remember oh of course there's some bugs let's get them there we go which way did he go i don't under, i don't understand I'm just going to have to go check out this other area down here. Oh, there he is. That was mean. Completely unprovoked. That guy does not like me. Probably because I'm like a dragon dude and he's kind of like a dinosaur dude. I don't know. Sees me as the competition. Grab that guy. All right, let's go down these stairs. We couldn't get down here before. Okay, he wants to do a flying duel. I'm not very good at this. You have to double tap. I didn't do... I didn't get that. Oh, he's helping me. And now he got mad at him. 
Yeah, I can't fly worth. I mean, as you can see, I can only kind of like glide down. So that pink guy, he, he helped me out. That was cool. What's over here? Okay. I don't know. I think we need to go back. I would go down there and explore, but I kind of want to follow... I kind of want to follow them because I want that pink guy on my side. Or red guy or whatever. Clearly... Consoe, this purple guy, he's not happy with that red guy. Yeah. Can we go this way? Oh no, there's like this rock blocking us. We have to go around. I gotta go... Follow those guys. They went up, up and to the right, so they're probably over by the snail. After a little while, you get to know this island pretty well, and you can always check with the snake to see where you are. As a reminder, this guy right here, you check with him, and he kind of shows you where you are. So there's the snail shell over past those three doors, and that's kind of where they flew up to that area, so that's where I'm going to go looking for them. laughing at me or something. So basically I've made an enemy. I haven't even been alive for, I don't know, a few hours and I've already made an enemy and a friend. Oh, that's weird. Oh, there he is. Oh, he tied him to a rock. That's mean. Let's talk to him. He's tied up, so you can't. Let's use the horn and. So he's saying thanks for cutting him loose. Let's talk to him. See if we can't be friends. Kurion. Kurion is his name. Cool. So he's giving us the red horn. Which I'm assuming we can use to, to uh, summon him. So there's probably going to be... I mean, that's foreshadowing that there's going to be areas where I'm going to need to fly. Like, long distances. So that's going to come in handy. And that closes the book on chapter two. Let's just see here. So we met Consoe. He was, he immediately challenged us to a pushing duel. We cut down that agave. We talked to the snail, Souru, the snail soul. I wonder if he likes soul music. Uh, Consoe challenged us to a jump duel 
He got angry when uh, Kurion tried to help us. Yeah. We were not able to fly by ourselves. I think that was the illustrate what that was trying to illustrate is that we can't fly by ourselves, but uh, Kurion can help us. Um, and then we freed Kurion. And now we're friends, and we have the red horn. Oh, that's it. All righty. So now we've got prologue, chapter one, Saishio no Tomodachi, and then Kansoi Arauru, chapter two, which means uh, that's that, you guys. Our progress has been logged. And now, uh, I guess we should save. It's a good time to save. Height. I'm going to overwrite. And get out of that. Oh, it's another flying seed. Just like the one that we used to plant our treehouse. All right, that is the beginning of chapter three. Um, so I'm not familiar with these kanji. Uh, well, I'm familiar with tree, but um, it turns out that that says the sky flying tree or the, the flying sky tree or something like that, chapter three. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. Um, we'll pick it up next in chapter three uh, whenever I get around to posting a video for that. Uh, in the meantime, be sure to check out the Sega Saturn Shiro podcast. That's segasaturnshiro.podient.co. You can check us out on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash play Sega Saturn. And don't forget to play your Sega Saturns, guys. Until next time.